Hi folks, it's Than again with Neo Terra Firma. Today we're going to talk about the Muse on Mini's Strompost Alpha pre-painted terrain. These are MDF buildings, as you see here. This is the ordinary color and they come pre-painted. Saves you a lot of time. They come either in this green and beige sort of look, which fits a lot of militaristic factions of different games. They also are provided in a white and red, or a kind of gray and red. One thing, so about this painting, it's about as good as uh, most card terrain in terms of the color quality, maybe slightly less, um, slightly less vibrancy in the colors, but still looks very good, better than I could paint for sure. Um, Another thing that's interesting about the colors that they chose is that they chose to use the wood grain as part of their baseline color. So you can see the rust here matches the actual burnt edges of the wood. And it contrasts favorably with the raw MDF. It means if you have areas like here where you have to file down, as usual with the MDF, or if you break chunks of it, it actually doesn't show as much. Um, that's less true of the uh, silver color scheme, but I really quite like that about this color scheme. There was a lot of thought that went into that. Uh, this building itself, we'll talk about playability in a minute, uh, but this building itself is fits in a five inch by five inch area nicely. Uh, these were intended for Warhammer, but they work fine for Infinity or even for Heavy Gear because they're fairly scale agnostic without having any doors and such on them. Uh, they come in this size and then something that's uh, this and then one and a half again. You can buy small amounts of individual buildings or you could buy larger game sets. Uh, their standard table set makes a fine enough table for Infinity so long as you add a little bit of scatter. Um, so continuing to talk about the features of this, um, they have a peg system for ladders. It's a little fiddly and a little frightening to how hard you have to press, but you can press in and remove ladders, barricades. Got to pull out a little bit hard. I'm always afraid I'm going to damage it, but it seems to hold up pretty well. I don't, um, I pack this in and out of game shops a lot, and I've had very little damage over time. They have bridge pieces. Um, at this point, they've also produced some wraparound staircases, um, some scatter train that's about half high, and when stacked is too high, and uh, an objective room as well for ITS missions. So a lot of options for this. Um, it is pre-painted, so you are going to be paying a little bit of a premium for that extra service, but I definitely kind of consider it worth it to not have to worry about a lot of the other things that come with painting your own terrain. Um, let's talk about playability. So here's a standard Silhouette 2 model. Um, all Infinity Silhouettes, except for the Silhouette 7 of Tags and Silhouette 6 of Tags, can fit finely behind this. Um, so that is one thing for playability concerns. You need to have one of these up and then you will be able to hide any tag uh, behind it. But otherwise, tags can easily jump up on top of these and can tend to dominate the battlefield. But then again, they can be seen from everywhere, so there's disadvantages as well. For sizing, you can go from one end to the other in one standard movement. The corners are cut, which makes for some strange fire lanes sometimes. You kind of find yourself hanging back a little further than you intend, than you are used to, or maybe having to get some odd angles to be able to see around them. Um, so that's not necessarily the best for Infinity. Um, in terms of movements up, we're looking at just over two inches, about two and a half inches, which means that you're going to be from base able to get up or from about inch and a half away. Um, 
It's not terribly inefficient for Infinity. Being able Anything you can get up in one order is good. Uh, I do like definitely being able to climb all the way up in one order uh, is helpful. Um, <clears throat> but since these can be stacked uh, with or without the ladders, you won't be able to go up two sets um, with a full climb on a standard model. So that's a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, barricades that come with most of the sets provide cover to about a little less than halfway up the model um, areas that you can see through are larger than head size so infinity you'll have to discuss with your opponent beforehand whether you want to shoot through it or not um, other than that not much to say it's a pretty good little product that they have here um, I've been very pleased with mine since I got it uh, the scale agnostic angle of it is definitely very nice because I can use these for heavy gear. Um, those movement distances that I quoted you earlier mean that if you have a standard heavy gear, it can move all the way across in one movement, assuming it has a way to get up and down. Your scout gears will be able to go up ladders and across um, in one standard movement, so they won't have to go flat out to get there. Climbers will be able to go up over and down by going flat out. Um, and most jetpack models can just pop right up on top of them. So uh, I think that's all I have to say about this one. Please feel free to like, subscribe, or drop me a message if you have anything you'd like to see reviewed or have any questions or comments. Take care.